Start Wolf Road from Ogallala Lakota artist Kevin Fastworth. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to talk about the wolf pelt itself. This is a prime wolf. It comes out of Canada. It has a full coat. It includes the sightings number attached to the robe, indicating that it does come out of Canada, that it was taken by a federally licensed furrier. So this robe would be approved for exportation. If you were to send it into another country, there would be documentation included with the wolf robe uh, that would allow it to be transported. Uh, the pattern on the wolf has to do with uh, the spirit world. Uh, as Kevin points out, uh, wolves are seen as a very spiritual animal by the Lakota and is often included in Lakota ceremonies. The Lakota admire the wolf for its uh, great hunting ability and also its commitment to family. Uh, if you look at the image design here, you will see that there are several different kinds of wolves included on the road. A uh, white wolf, a black wolf, and a gray wolf. Uh, they are all part of the pack, and that's that commitment to family. They also work together as a team to ensure a successful hunt. And these are qualities that the Lakota admire and like to draw upon when they're going on a hunt to provide for their own families. Uh, the center strip here uh, the, includes spirit tracks, which show the wolf's presence in the spirit world as well as the physical world. And the center pattern, the geometric pattern, Kevin usually uses this pattern to indicate the Lakota people and the relationship that they have with this animal. The overall beadwork is done all in Italian glass beads. And Kevin pointed out that, in fact, there are almost 55,000 beads on this world. Uh, the colors are earth tone to indicate the environment of the wolf. Uh, most of them are um, a transparent brown. There's also green and yellow and white on there indicating the four directions and uh, the woodland and prairies that the wolves inhabit. You, something else that you will see on the robe are two distinct animals. Uh, there's the elk and then at the top of the robe we see the buffalo. Historically when these animals inhabited the plains in mass quantities, these were primary prey for the wolf packs that were also on the plains. Uh, now most of them are restricted to mountain ranges and wolves continue to hunt buffalo, elk, and other prey animals the way they did uh, when they were first documented by fur traders coming across in wagons. Something else you'll see on here is the eyes and the nose of the wolf have beadwork done to them or they've been decorated. Uh, they have deer antler buttons and uh, brass beads, crow style pony beads that are glass. There's also some ultra thin, thin bone hair pipe on here. These are to enhance the senses of the wolf, his sense of sight and his sense of smell. These are things that they would take with them into the spirit world to ensure that they would continue to be successful hunters. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you on the wolf is the back side of the pelt. We'll try to turn around here. You can see the prime condition of the coat, how it has that nice dark dorsal stripe. The wolf is supported across the top with this hand carved hanger bar done by Kevin Fasthorse. It is carved with a wolf effigy with the head of the wolf on one end and a paw of the wolf on the other end. And then through the center you will notice that there are brass, uh, brass tack paws running across the board, uh, again indicating that spirit path of the wolf. This is an excellent example of Lakota style beadwork, uh, once again done by Ogallala Lakota artist Kevin Fasthorse.